We begin this Lenten service in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Let's pray. Lord God Almighty, shepherd and ruler of all creatures, we pray for your great mercy that you guide us towards yourself, for we cannot find our way. During this 40 day lengthened journey, guide us to your will, to the need of our soul. For we cannot do it ourselves and make our minds toughest in your will and aware of our soul's need. Strengthen us against the temptations of the devil and remove from us all lust and every unrighteousness and shield us against our foes sin and unsin teach us O Lord to do your will in this lengthened journey ahead of us that we may inwardly love you before all things with a pure mind for you are our maker and our redeemer our help our comfort our trust our hope praise and glory be to you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Beloved, as we enter this season of length, it is a time of reflection and renewed faith. As we focus on the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. This is a time you and I set aside to make a decision to be in our secret place of prayer. And even in the public square, such as we've met today, to meditate on the fact that always there is God's grace, there's God's mercies available for you and I to grow in these graces. Indeed, as we all know, this is a time in which the good Lord will always bring us under the cross of Calvary to do a heart transplant in our lives. Through God's refining grace, through prayer, through confession, fasting, and alms giving, as we anticipate the Holy Week ahead of us. Yes, it is a 40 day fast journey which you and I 
already had begun. And more importantly, it is a time that we allow our lives to be filled with the gracious word of God. Beloved in Christ, length is a time in which we grow through the lens of God's grace. It is a time that we experience the imaginable where knowingly God is going to help transform our lives with greater liberty, greater joy, and deeper desire for love and service. Preparing our heart is a process of preparing our desires this means practicing our sense of anticipation. If we imagine Lent as a time to dread in some way, then we have already put ourselves not to receive the grace of God. And as Paul put it, maybe you will receive it in vain. I hope not. I've always derived much comfort from the hymn, Amazing Grace, which is more likely to be based on Ephesians chapter 2, Verses 4 to 6, in which the Apostle Paul informs the Ephesian church of how precious the graces of God and the message of God looks like. Paul declared to the Ephesian believers in Ephesians chapter 2 verses 4 to 9 and I read, But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love, wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ. By grace ye are saved, and hath raised us up together, and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus that in the ages to come he may show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness towards us through Christ Jesus for by grace are ye saved through faith and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Not of works, least any man should boast. The 
This is Paul's great comfort to the Ephesian believers. Paul, in a sense, is saying that I do not profess to know how the generosity of God's grace unfolds in the conversion process of the Christian life, nor the origin of the melody. But scripture states that the changing quality of God's grace in Jesus Christ is for the comfort of our wretched soul that always yearns for the desires of the world instead of the needs. In this instant, the spiritual needs of God. As implied by the hymn writer, Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretched like me. I once was lost, but now I am found. Was blind, but now I see. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Beloved hymns of all times attributed to John Newton. Pastor and a former slave captain on his home coming voyage in a turbulent sea. Newton experienced great deliverance while he was attempting to navigate the ship through violent storm. When all seems lost and the ship threatened to sink, he cried, Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Probably you and I, our heart desire will be the Lord, have mercy on us at the time when our community is suffering from death, at a time when our community is suffering from rejection, at a time when our community is suffering from pains within us, unknown to anybody, at a time when even our own Friends, our own family seems to reject us. And we seem to be in a wonderland. Let's respond to the assurance of God that is being imputed to us by declaring that gracious God. Gracious God. We are thankful. We are thankful that they overcame. That they overcame him. Him by the blood of the Lamb. By the blood of the Lamb. And that Jesus Christ. And that Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Lord, offered up His blood. Offered up His blood to consecrate us. To consecrate us for service. For service. Therefore, therefore, as the blood of Jesus flushes out, as the blood of Jesus flushes out of us, of us, all inherited, all inherited deposits, deposits, and transforms everything, and transforms everything. To become new. To become new. Let the word. Let the word. Like fire. Like fire. Purify us. 
Purify us. And restore us. And restore us. For life abundance. For life abundance. In this Lenten season. In this Lenten season. And re-energize. And re-energize. And revive. And revive. All dead potential. All dead potential. And spiritual gifts. And spiritual gifts. Within us. Within us. As we eat. As we eat. The spiritual food. The spiritual food. Of his word. Of his word. And seek his space. And seek his space. May the Almighty God. May the Almighty God. Renew his covenant. Renew his covenant. With us. With us. And together. And together. Bearing one another in love. Bearing one another in love. And eager to maintain. And eager to maintain. The unity. The unity. Of the spirit. Of the spirit. Of the bond of peace. Of the bond of peace. This we pray. This we pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Our Lord. Our Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen.